This tutorial will show you how to perform an effective search for articles in Project Muse using Library of Congress subject headings. Hi, today we're going to learn how to use an online database called Project Muse and we're going to learn the value of searching Library of Congress subject headings. Project Muse has scholarly articles in the humanities and social sciences. One of the most remarkable strengths of Project Muse is that every article is indexed using Library of Congress subject headings. This allows us to find articles that are relevant to our research very quickly. To show you how this works, let's try a search for, say, teen bullying. Some of these don't really look relevant to our research. For instance, online communication in adolescent relationships even though it mentions teen bullying, doesn't appear to be about teen bullying primarily. Communication and technology, social aspects, interpersonal relations and adolescence, no, I don't think we want this one. The next article, however, Beyond Hurt Feelings, investigating why some victims of bullying are at greater risk for suicidal ideation, looks really good. We notice the subject headings associated with this. Suicidal behavior, teenagers, teenagers suicidal behavior, bullying in schools. British Columbia. This looks really good, so what we want to do is highlight this, copy it, then run a new search with the subject heading. Click on New Search, paste the subject heading in, click on Articles Only. I don't think we want to limit to British Columbia, so let's take this part of the subject heading off. Change the field to Subject Headings and run search. Now we have 15 results. All of these results have bullying in schools in the subject heading. So these articles are actually about bullying. Now this first one, Context Dependent Victimization and Aggression. Let's click on this to see what it looks like. We can quickly find where bullying is used in the document by using the search window. Open the full reader search click search and we find that actually the word bullying is not found in this article at all even though it is about bullying. So going back to the results page in a very short time what we've done is brought up all the articles that are about the subject that we are doing our research on and they all look relevant to our research. The other thing that happened is we didn't lose any articles that were about our topic but used other keywords than the ones that we used in our original search. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.